What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Facts, Shining TV. And tonight, I will go with my WWE Raw review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications when I premiere a brand new video at 3 o'clock a.m. Or I'll go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Now, let's go over Monday Night Raw. Now, Monday Night Raw, the first hour of Raw was good. The second hour was pretty good. But, but... The rest of the show was terrible, and I give it, and I give that show itself a five. So we go right into the show. Then, now, forever together, the WWE video leads us into the show. All right, so we get Bianca Belair versus Nikki Cross. Now I must say this was uh, was okay for what it was. The bell rings, and we are on the way. Nikki Cross runs towards Bianca Belair, but Bianca Belair moves out of the way, and Bianca Belair with a shoulder tackle. Bianca Belair runs to the ropes, but Nikki Cross with a cross body. Nikki Cross stumps on Bianca Belair in the corner. Nikki Cross tries to slam Bianca Belair in the top turnbuckle, but Bianca Belair with a back elbow. Bianca Belair runs towards Nikki Cross, but Nikki Cross kicks her away. Nikki Cross climbs the second rope and goes for a cross body, but Bianca Belair catches her and hits her with a fall, fall away slam. Nikki Cross rolls to the outside of the ring. Bianca Belair on the sec on the ring on the ring apron as Nikki Cross traps her, traps her up. Nikki Cross slams Bianca Belair left knee into the ring post onto the ring apron. I'm sorry. So we go to commercial break. Um, back from commercial, Bianca Belair with a with several body slams onto Nikki Nikki Cross in the middle of the ring. Bianca Belair with a Vertical suplex, Bianca Belair goes for a moonsault, but Nikki Cross gets her knees up. Nikki Cross jumps on Bianca Belair's back, and Bianca Belair rolls to the outside of the ring. Nikki Cross once more jumps on jumps on Bianca Belair's back, but Bianca Belair falls backwards onto Nikki Cross on the outside of the ring. Out outrun the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Io Sky and Dakota Kai, the referee is distracted with them being as Bailey runs through the crowd and throws her into the ring post. Nikki Cross pushes Bailey into the barricade. Nikki Cross throws Io Sky into the barricade and hits Dakota Kai with a cross body. Bianca Belair back in the ring. Nikki Cross gets in the ring and Bianca Belair hits the kiss of death. She goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Bianca Belair. This match was fine for what it was. Bailey attacks Bianca Belair in the ring after the match. She kept, she stomps on Bianca Belair and out comes Asuka along with Alexa Bliss. They run down to the ring and all six women fight in the ring. As Damage Control leaves the ring, Bailey on the ring and Asuka hits her with the hip attack. Alexa Bliss on the ring apron with a Santana on to all uh, three women. Okay, so we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, and Oscar are backstage. In comes Kathy Kelly. Bianca Belair says things between her and Bailey are far from over. She knows Bailey is bragging that she beat her twice, but comes crown jewel. Only one of them is walking out. But just because one of them is working out, walking out doesn't mean she will walk in alone. Alexa Bliss, they have been with Bianca Bella since it started, and they will be there when it ends. They won't wait for Crown Jewel. Alexa Bliss charged those guys to call guy to a women's tag team championship match tonight. All right, so we get the Bobby Lashley is sitting backstage for a one on one with Brock Lesnar. This was a good. This was a good segment right here. It's a split screen as Bobby Lashley is on the. It's on one side, but Brock Lesnar is not sitting. Bobby Lashley says he is not surprised. Brock Lesnar has been decking him for twenty years. He had, had he faced Brock Lesnar twenty years ago. He will have exposed him so he will have exposed him like he exposed him at the World Rumble. Like he exposed him on Raw when he left left him laying by his by 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 his feet. 
and and that crowd drove. He will expose him again and expose him for who he is. That is Bobby Lashley wannabe. So Brock Lesnar music hits, and now and now he comes. The fans chant Lesnar and smiles and and says good evening Texas. He says Lesnar did not come to Texas to have a sit down interview with Bobby Lashley. When Brock Lesnar visits Texas, he wants to do what things good folks of Texas would normally do, and that's to fight. He tells Bobby Lashley he will. He he tells Bobby Lashley he didn't get the memo, and even if he did, did even even he did, he knows he can't read it. He challenges Bobby Lashley out. To the ring, so Bobby Lashley is is seen standing up, taking off his jacket and sunglasses. Bobby Lashley music hits as Lashley leaves the ring. The two fight on a round. WWE officials and superstars try to break it up. Our true Chad Gable, Mustafa Ali, and the entire WWE locker room, including Triple H, are on stage. They separate both of them. Brock Lesnar breaks free and runs towards Lashley. They break them up again. So you mean to tell me you had every superstar that came out from the locker room, and you had security guards, you had Triple H, you had the ref, had the officials, cannot break up Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. But that was good though. That was good. But anyway, I had to put that out there. So we go to commercial break, and this was the best match of the night. Seth Rollins versus Austin Theory. This was the best match of the night. This match was fantastic. The bell rings. We are. And we are and we are underway. The fans chat and sing Seth's themes of oh, of oh, oh, as he smiles. Three goes for a kick, but Seth Rollins grabs his leg and trips him up. Seth Rollins goes for the cover, but Austin Theory kicks out. Seth Rollins with a head headlock as Theory throws Seth to the to the ropes. Um, Seth Rollins goes for the pedigree, but Theory rolls out of the ring to to the outside. Seth Rollins rolls to the outside and chases Theory as Theory gets back in the ring. Seth Rollins about to slide in as Theory goes for an elbow, but miss. As Seth Rollins moves out of the way, Theory to the outside and kicks. And Seth Rollins kicks him. Seth Rollins with a child to the chest on the outside of the ring. He lifts Austin Theory up and throws him into the other side of the barricade. Austin Theory on the barricade as Seth Rollins climbs the announcer table. He jumps and knees, knees lands across the back of Austin Theory's neck. He throws Theory into the ring. Into the ring. Um, Seth Rollins onto the ropes. But Austin Theory trips him up, and Seth Rollins falls to the outside. Theory throws him into the ring steps. So we go to commercial break. Back from the break, Austin Theory with a follow-away slam in the middle of the ring. He goes for the cover, but Seth Rollins kicks out. Theory with a right hand, and Seth Rollins with a chop to the chest. Theory with a chop to the chest. Seth Rollins with a... Forearm theory with a right hand. Seth Rollins with several forearms and a kick. Seth Rollins runs to the ropes, but theory with an elbow to the face. Theory runs to the ropes, and Seth Rollins knows. And Seth Rollins with an elbow to the face. Seth Rollins close on theory to the outside of the ring. Seth Rollins with a suicide dive through the ropes and onto theory on the bear, onto the outside of the ring. Seth gets back. Gets back in the ring, and another suicide dog. Seth gets back in the ring as he does. Theory, theory. Seth runs with a falcon arrow. He goes for the cover, but Theory kicks out. Um, Seth runs goes for the stomp, but Theory moves out of the way. Seth runs onto the ring apron. He jumps off the second row and, and hits Theory with a knee to the face. Um, Seth. With a super kick, he goes for the cover, but Theory kicks out. Seth goes for the pedigree, but Theory with a back back drop as he rolls. Seth rolls up with, but but Seth rolls reverses it. Both men exchange covers. Theory with the right hand. 
Theory lifts lifts Seth up and slams him next onto his knees. Theory goes for the cover, but Seth kicks out. Theory goes for the A town, but Seth Rollins lands on his feet. Um, so Seth with a kick to the outside of the head. Theory in the corner as he runs towards Seth in a standing block bus on to Seth Rollins. He goes for the cover, but Seth kicks out. Um, Theory Gill goes for the A A town down, but. Um, Seth Rollins with the elbow to the face and kicks th- Seth on his feet. Seth goes for the stomp, but Theory catches him. Seth lands on his feet. Seth goes for the goes for a right hand. Theory ducks it ducks and hits him with a super kick and a forearm to the face. Theory grabs Seth and goes for the pedigree, but Seth lifts Theory up and slams him. Slams him, um, slams him face first onto the mat. Seth hits him with the stump. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. So the winner of the match, Seth Rollins. This was the best match of the night. This match was fantastic. We cut backstage, and a black SUV parks out. Seth's the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman. Commercial break. The WWE Undisputed. Universal Champion Roman Reigns with Paul, Paul Heyman walked down to the ring. The fans chant Uzi as Roman Reigns smiles. He extended his hand as Paul Heyman gives him the microphone. So, I mean, Roman Reigns tells Dallas to acknowledge him. The fans chant Uzi and Roman tells them not to worry. He got Sammy and Jay out in, their, out in the world working on becoming a little... Little more Uzi. By the time they're done in Saudi Arabia, you could see a new, a new man and Uzi right hand man Jay Uso. Roman Reigns says enough of the Uzi talk. For over two years, he has been hyping upon us in the corner and the thing that happened is they get to the match and they get smashed. And he doesn't want them to think of think that he is dishonest or lying. He had to think about this a about this and to be honest. He is the greatest of all time. And he go and he is going against someone who has had two matches. There there is no yeah, there is no way he is going to sit up and hype up a match with the outside like Logan Paul. The travel chief won't do that, but but the wise man will. He gives Heyman the microphone. Heyman says, beginning with including himself as the as the wise man to Roman Reigns. Um, Roman Reigns says Logan Paul has those um, these still crew. D D still screws in standard and started into his hand that he is determined to throw that one lucky punch within that Logan Paul has been training with Shawn Michaels. Um Roman Reigns act scared. Um yet he he's all the Logan side and the crowd jewel. He is going to get Smashed by the Charles Chief Roman Reigns. Because if there is no thing in this world will stand island and relance for see, um that that he cannot tolerate is in outside I'll cause the miss to the ring. So the miss says the the miss says first and foremost, his tribal chief is tribal chief. He announced him. He is out here to help him. No one in this industry knows Logan Paul more than him. He technically brought himself into the WWE, trained him, and taught him him everything. But he couldn't teach him about the right hand. He has pins in his hand. That he knocks power. If he doesn't believe him, 
he should actually um he apologized for not being able to help him either being being a a, a lister he um been through been through dylan uh um, it's just been through dylan well i was saying he, uh, he apologized for not being help him earlier being a a a lister he has been dealing with dealing with a deranged stalker he tells my race he thinks they can't help each other. He knows Logan's strength is weaknesses. Roman Reigns helps him with he who shall not be named, and he's helped him natural naturalize Logan Paul. Roman Reigns tells Miz that he is trying to cut a deal. Roman Reigns says that doesn't sound too bad, but before they get to this deal, Roman Reigns wants wants to ask him a question. Miz says this is his ring. He can he he can ask anything. Roman says he thinks thinks he is thinks he's like him. Like think he he's like him. Roman asks why does everyone keep talking about Logan Paul knocking him out? Roman says Miz with a Superman punch. Roman Reigns says they should be talking about him knocking Logan Paul out and they would not have any other choice but to acknowledge him. Alright, so we'll go to commercial break. Back from commercial, the Miz is in the trainer's room with a bag of ice on his cheek. Kathy Kelly tells Miz that John Gargan had a sit-down interview which will air tonight. Miz says she Miz says he should know that a story should never arc until he is verified by multiple original source of WWE heirs and a slanderous proof piece. He he will have no choice. Everyone must be prepared for a lawsuit and that he is trying to get his match against uh against Ali to, Ali tonight. Cancel. And comes Mustafa Ali, who who says he was looking forward to fighting tonight. As he as they say, everything is everything is bigger than Texas. Ali almost looked at Miz and says, "What? Almost everything." He tells Miz he has a tiny um bonds and laughs. Miz says this will be the be him. Tonight with a broken jaw. So we go to commercial. So we get Carl Anderson and the OC versus Damian Priest and Justin Day. Okay. Now this match was all right for what it was. It says, um, the bell rings. We are underway. Anderson with a chop to the chest and right hands. He throws Damian Priest to the ropes, but Damian Priest with a spinning. Back elbow. Damien Priest with a for- with the forearm to the face. He throws Anderson to the ropes, but Anderson with a kick to the face. Um, he go he close arms Damien Priest to the outside of the ring. Damien Priest grabs Anderson and drags him to the outside. Anderson pushes Damien Priest into the ring post. Anderson with a right hand. On Dominic on the outside of the ring. Demi Priest with a big brute to the face. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Demi Priest with a right hand on Anderson in the ring. Damien Priest, it says, it says Damien Priest with the elbow in the corner. He lifts Anderson up and throws him onto the mat. He goes for the cover, but Anderson kicks out. Demi Priest grabs Anderson, but Anderson with a jaw breaker. Demi Priest runs towards. Um, Anderson, but Anderson with a big boot to the face. Um, Damian Priest goes for a splash onto Anderson, but he moves out of the way. Anderson kick with that kick to the face. Damian Priest goes for a ch- choke slam, but Anderson land on his feet and a shoulder block onto Damian Priest and Anderson with a same time. Um, Anderson with a spine bust, he goes for the cover, but Damian Priest kicks out. Anderson climbs the top rope. As real gets on that ring apron. Real, I'm sorry, Anderson is distracted by he 
Gills off the top. Um, top row, but Damian Priest catches him and Klein. And, and, and catches him and, and slam on, send him into the ring mat. Damian Priest goes for the reckoning, but Anderson with a backslide cover for the. Who goes for the cover gets the pin. The winner of the match, Carl Anderson. This match was decent. The mat I'm sorry, the judgment they attack Anderson after the match, but in comes the OC Rear Ripley with their low blow on two gallows. Rear Ripley standing in the ring as Valor and Damien Priest attack Anderson and AJ Styles from behind. Damien Priest with the race of edge on two AJ Styles. Van Battle with the coup de gras on on Anderson. Dominic with a frost splash onto and onto um onto AJ Styles. We cut a backstage. We we cut backstage as MVP is standing with Omos. MVP says on Friday, Sherman said there is no giant in the world big enough for the monster. A monster among man, a monster among monsters. Sherman can flip over all the trucks and he. Once uh, he wants, but he will never measure up to the Nigerian Giants. Almost, um, almost he needs to get that through his um, not around. No, it's not another round. I'm sorry. Uh, throughout his neither, neither, neither though, skull, and he will find out at Crown Jewel or. Even sooner, as he will be on SmackDown, and he has arranged a little surprise for him. As MVP looked at Omos and last back in the back back in the ring, out comes JBL. Commercial break. Um, JBL says it is good. It is great to be in the Lone Star State of Texas. JBL talks about the United States being formed with Texas and the center of all. Texas has always been legend, but always has always had legends from the Brian Eric's and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The greatest of Texas has been man showable until the sn- snowflakes came along and ruined the man man knows and everyone that he has that that has unable. Theme has turned Texas into a embarrassment today. It's their day, Halloween, where it's the t- take their young children to the door, d- door to door, be, be, be in for food. Um, he says this. That is what his. That is what this uh, entitled generation does not need from a Texas legend. He wants to tell them. Not one of them should be allowed to call themselves in Texas. They de- they disgust him, but despite all of that, he go he is um uh, he is still um going to introduce greatness to his, to this state. The man who is going to save this business, um, he tells them to stand up or stand up on their Snowflakes and we and welcome the moderates day wrestling God Baron Corbin. Uh Baron Cor Bar- Baron Corbin segment was just terrible. I'm not talking about JBL. I'm talking about Baron Corbin. Out comes Corbin wearing a track suit. He says they were they are welcome. He knows they look at him and says that Corbin has it all that they are right. He has it all, and all of all of them had very little. He wanted to come out and say thank you for, from the bottom of, heart of his heart that they escaped the ring, escaped escaped together their last few dollars to purchase purchase a ticket to come see him on the flash on the flash tonight. Um. Corbin says he knows it wasn't easy. They probably had to put in a few extra hours at the factory, but that just shows him how much they truly, they how much they truly love him. They all know the truth, and the truth is out. The truth is out. Comes our truth. 
All comes our truth. Wearing a cowboy hat. JBL calls him a buffoon. He asks him what he is doing. He looks ridiculous. Our truth says he wanted to out to come out and watch Dallas a happy Halloween. Um, wish Dallas a happy Halloween. He also wanted to out and tell them both that he likes their Halloween costume. Jibiel tells him they are not wearing costumes. Our truth says they were wearing costumes. He he says Jibiel is dressed as a mean, hostile, angry, out out of touch old man, and Corbin is just the world biggest. And Corbin tries to attack him. Our truth with a kick onto Corbin. JBL throws his cowboy hat onto our truth. Um, and Corbin hits our truth with the ends of days. Um, that 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 Baron Corbin segment was just terrible, god awful. Commercial break. Damage control. Our show on song to Nikki Cross backstage in the ring. Pumpkins surrounded in the along with Halloween direction. So we get a trick or, trick or street fight. Matt Riddle with Elias versus Otis and Chad Gable. Um, I must say, this match this match was solid for what it was. Matt Riddle is dressed as Ezekiel. Gable comes out wearing a white robe. He does have dress up and it's so cr- so cracks cr- and it will have made since, but no one would have gotten the joke because he is in front of a bunch of Dallas idiots. Halloween is is his favorite. Halloween is dressed up as a legendary chip. He introduced his partner, Dell, and now comes Otis in a white robe, but they take their robes off, a po- off in pose. The bell rings. We are on the way. Otis runs towards Riddle, but Riddle moves out of the way, and Otis t- into the ring, and into the corner. Shoto first onto the outside. Riddle kicks back in the, in the face. Um, he goes jump, and he jumps onto both Otis and Gable. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Riddle with a jumping knee to the face in the ring. He runs towards Otis, but Otis pushes Riddle down. Riddle in the corner and Otis with a splash. Gable gets on the second rope and tells and tells Otis to tell Otis tonight is the night. Otis does the warm and hits Riddle with the elbow. Otis lifts Riddle, but Riddle lands on his feet. Um, Otis with Otis runs towards the road towards Matt Riddle, but Matt Riddle moves out of the way, and Otis hits a shoulder first on into the ring post. Elias throws Riddle a candlestick, and he hits Otis with it. Gable gets on the ring apron and hits Riddle with a clothesline. Elias hits Gable with a knee to the face. He falls off the ring apron, but there but through a table on the. Outside, Riddle goes for the RKO, but Otis catches him and slams him. Otis climbs the second rope. Um, he jumps, but Riddle moves out of the way. Elias has a pumpkin and he places it on it onto Otis. Riddle with an RKO on Otis. He goes for the cover and gets the win, gets the pin. The winner of the match, Matt Riddle. Okay. Dakota Kai is backstage telling Bailey that Bliss and Oscar don't deserve a t- championship match. Ill Sky says they are going to embarrass them tonight. Bailey says she will embarrass Bianca Bella at Crown Jewel. So we go to commercial. So we get the Miz versus Mustafa Ali. This match, this match was. Uh, I'm not saying it was a good match. It was just there for what it was. It was just there. The bell rings. We are underway. Miz kicks on kicks onto Ali. Miz slams Ali into the turnbuckles. Miz goes for a hip toss, but Ali reverses it into a cover. But my, but Miz kicks out. Ali with a with an atomic drop followed by a chop in the chest. Ali with a neck breaker. He goes for the cover. Um, the Miz kicks out. Um, Miz 
all, all climbs the top rope. He goes way 450, but Miz moves out of the way, and Ali lands on his feet. Miz with a right hand, so we go to commercial break. Um, bathroom commercial, Miz with a kick onto Ali. He runs towards, uh, towards Ali, and Ali moves out of the way and hits him with a back Um, Ali with, with chops to the chest. He grabs Miz, but Miz rolls away from him and hits Ali with a DDT. He runs... Do he want? He goes for the cover, but Ali kicks out. Miz goes for a close on, but Ali moves out of the way and misses his, misses his Miz with a satellite DDT. Miz rolls to the outside of the ring and climbs, uh, and climbs. Um, Ali climbs the top rope and a cross body onto the Miz on the cross a cross body onto the Miz with the outside. Ali grabs Miz by. Grab his butt, but Miz pushes him over with the announcer table. Dexter Lumis is is the crowd, and he grabbed um, Miz, but um, um, Miz runs to the ring as security guards chase Dexter. Ali hits Miz with a super kick. Ali climbs the top rope and hits. Him with the 450 splash, it goes for the cover. One, two, three. The winner of the match from Stop Ali. Okay, so we go to commercial break. Byron has your host, Dudu, he investigate. He says that Snowman is stuck, has stalked the Miz, and John Gargano knows the truth. Gargano says he has known Dexter for years. He has a quirk book up, but um, he is a guy who is trying to make. A living Dexter married into the, his NXT family. He he had to learn to accept him like a son and law or paper on a not paper a pet raccoon with a box with a but after the wedding their family will their family fall apart. Dexter lost his job and fell so hard so on so fell on a hard time. Gargano says it, it it Gargano says it took a tool on him and Miz took advantage of it. When Gargano returns to the returns to the WWE, he overheard Miz and Dexter talking. He recorded on his phone. Um, um we hear the recording. Miz tells Dexter Lewis that he is was a little snug around a little snug uh with his sleeper and people are buying it. He will pay him now, but pay him again next week. Um, Baron is asking him if they have some financial en- arrangement. Gargano says he believes Miss is paying Dexter to stage attack, and he until he until he is a a celebrity and celebrity stage work stories. It calls the media about it all the time. Byron says these are serious a cost a Gargano tells him to look at the footage the first time Miz and Dexter saw each other on Raw. There was no physical attract uh alter altercation. John Gargano says Miz will never go, never going to be Bobby Lashley in the steel cage match, and he will, and he will find a way to keep the blame off of himself. That's why that limits cost him the match. Gargano says somehow along the way, Miz must stop, he stop paying Dexter, and he lost control of the situation, and now. Dexter is hot to him. So we go to Byron. Byron says this is a shocking development. Commercial break. So we get the women's tag team match of the evening. This is your WWE Women's Tag Team Champions uh, match. Damage control with Bailey versus Oscar, Alexa Bliss and Oscar, and, and with Bianca Belair. I love the moment between Alexa Bliss and Oscar. But anyway, this match was okay. This match, I'm gonna say this match right here. Um, this match was um fantastic. This match, this main event was fantastic. It says right here, 
The re the barriers we are underway. Alexa is stomping on Il Shira in the corner. Um, she comes. She slams Il Il Sky face first onto the mat. Alexa goes for a knee to the face, but Il Sky moves out of the way. Il Sky throws Alexa in the corner, and Dakota tags her into the match. They send Alexa to the ropes with Alexa to the ropes and double team her. Dakota Kai. Goes for the cover, but Oscar, uh, but Alexa kicks out. She throws Alexa in the corner and a running kick to the face. She goes for the cover, but Alexa kicks out. Il Sky is tagging right hand on to Alexa, followed by a knee to the face. She goes for the cover, but Alexa kicks out. The Dakota, Dakota Kai is tagging. The Dakota Kai goes for, goes for a right hand. But Alexa blocks it and slams Dakota Kai onto the mat. Alexa with the double knees followed by a same time she goes for the cover. But Dakota Kai kicks out Alexa with an elbow to the face. Alexa blitz with the hurricanrana. Asuka is tagging into the match. Asuka slams Dakota Kai onto the mat. Asuka with a black fist and kick to the face. Oscar with a release German suplex. She grabs Dakota Kai, but Dakota Kai grabs Oscar by the hair and saves her. Eel Sky is tagged in and Oscar pushes Eel Sky. And Eel Sky pushes Oscar and Oscar with the right hands. She runs to the ropes, but Eel Sky with an elbow to the face. Eel Sky runs to the ropes and Oscar with a clothesline. Oscar is tagged in and they double team Eel Sky. Alexa goes for the cover, but Il Sky kicks out. Oscar tags back in, and Oscar with a drop kick off the second rope. Il Sky to the outside. Oscar knocks the code Kai to the outside. Oscar and Alexa is on the outside. Oscar Oscar goes for a kick onto Il Sky, but the code Kai moves her out of the way. And Oscar kicks the rain post. Il Sky with a dragon screw onto Oscar. So we go to commercial break. Bathroom commercial, Il Sky won towards Oscar, but Oscar moves out of the way. Il Sky to the outside of the ring. Il Sky in the ring and Dakota Kai tag in. Oscar rolls Dakota Kai up, but Dakota Kai kicks out. Dakota Kai with a kick onto Oscar. She grabs her but she grabs her but but grabs her but Oscar reverses it and throws Dakota Kai to the to the outside of the ring. In comes Eel Sky, but Asuka throws her to the outside and Asuka's tagging. Alexa with a shoulder tag on to Dakota Kai followed by a double knees to the face. Alexa with a right hand and a knee to the face. Followed by a dry kick. Alexa Blitz goes for the cover, but Dakota Kai kicks out. Asuka is tagging in and, and they double team Dakota. Oscar within armbar, but Il Sky gets in the ring and breaks it up. Il Sky breaks it up in cause Alexa, but Il Sky with a backbreaker. Dakota Kai tags Il Sky in, and Il Sky with a double knees onto Alexa in the corner. Il Sky on on the ring apron. She jumps off the top rope and hits Oscar, but a dry kick. Il Sky climbs to the top and jumps jumps by Oscar with a double knees. She goes for the cover, but Il Sky kicks out. Oscar with the arm bar on Il Sky in the middle of the ring, and on and into into the Oscar lock. Bailey distracts the referee on the ring apron. Il Sky taps taps out, but Dakota Kai breaks it up. Bianca Belair throws Bailey off the ring apron and 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 over the barricade. Alexa Bliss grabs. Alexa Bliss gets in the ring. But Dakota Kai with a headbutt. Um, Alexa with a kick to the face onto Dakota Kai. But Dakota Kai with a scorpion kick onto Oscar. Bianca Bella and Baylor are fighting on the top of the television equipment in the crowd. Bailey with a belly, belly to belly, belly to belly through the through a table. In the ring, Dakota Kai with a kick onto Asuka. Alexa grabs Dakota Kai to the outside. Il Sky on the ring apron kick Alexa down. Il Sky climbs the top rope and she goes for a moonsault, but Asuka moves out of the way. Asuka with a kick to the face. Alexa is tagging. Alexa with the twist of bliss. She goes with a cover and gets the pin. 
the winner in your new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Alessa Bliss and Asuka. Now, this was a good main event. And Monday Night Raw goes off the air. Now, I must say, Monday Night Raw, what well, I give Monday Night Raw a five. The first hour was good. The second hour was okay. And then the rest of the show was just terrible. After the Roman Reigns segment, the crowd was dead. Um, Monday Night Raw was a five. But let me ask you this kind of question. After Alexa Bliss and Oscar won the WWE Women's, Women's Tag Team Champions, do you think that Bayley is going to take the Raw Women's Championship off of Bianca Belair? That's that's the question I want to ask you guys. Sign it off down below in the comment section. But anyway, if you guys should join my WWE Raw Review on Highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on Monday Night Raw because I give this show a five. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. When I premiere a brand new video at 3 o'clock a.m., follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. I want you guys to have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.